okay, going to be showing you the false gods of Roman Catholicism, and I say gods plural because Roman Catholicism has, has multiple gods. They are not, they don't believe in the one god of the Bible. They have multiple gods. They have demigods, like the pagan Roman Empire has. But first, as always, going to read some scripture. 2 Kings 22, 17. Because they have forsaken me, and have, have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands, therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and shall not be quenched. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 16. Jeremiah 1 16. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other gods, and worship the works of their own hands. And Second Chronicles twenty eight twenty five. Second Chronicles twenty eight twenty five. And in every several city of Judah he made high places to burn incense unto other gods, and provoked the anger of the Lord. God of his fathers. So what the Roman Catholics are doing is the same thing that Israel was doing when they were sinning. They're burning incense to other gods and they're going to provoke God to anger. Roman Catholicism is pagan idolatry. But here's a picture of the Antichrist Pope in front of this big giant statue of their goddess Mary, which is not the Mary of the Bible. The goddess of Roman Catholicism is a pagan Babylonian Roman deity. It's not the Mary of the Bible. You know, they got this, this god of gold, goddess of gold in the background. Second picture shows this uh, crucifixion, this false Christ they have, because Acts 17.29 forbids making any images of, of the Godhead. Read it, go read it. Go read Acts 17.29. It cuts all these false images of the Godhead. You're not to make any image of Jesus Christ. Just read Acts 17.29. But you have this image of this Christ guy, this this person that looks nothing like Christ. It, it's a, in fact, I, you know, I've heard it said, I remember, you know, and I don't agree with Peter Ruckman on everything. I do have my disagreements with him, but he made a good point. He pointed out that, you know, it's very likely, like he said, he believes that this, this long haired Christ guy, they fit the, the Roman Catholics feature, it could be what the Antichrist would look like. And I, I agree with that. I believe that that's what the Antichrist would look like. But he got this graven image of Jesus Christ in the background, or, or who, who they say is Jesus Christ. It's not third picture is, again, this pagan Mary statue, this god of goddess of gold in the background. I mean, doesn't, doesn't the Bible condemn making gods of gold? What are they doing with the god of gold in the background? A goddess of gold. Sorry, I'll say it properly. And then you got this other picture of the Pope uh, bowing down to this other statue of their goddess Mary. So Roman Catholicism has false gods and goddesses. They, don't, they, they do not believe in the one God of the Bible, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they believe in multiple gods and multiple goddesses. They get it from the pagan Romans, they get it from the pagan Babylonians, and just like how they created Islam out of Egyptian and European paganism, the Roman Catholic Church is following suit with their pagan Greek and Roman forerunners, which is why there's so much pedophilia within the Roman Catholic Church, because pedophilia was basically part of Greek and Roman life, so the Roman Catholic, Church, the Roman Catholic Church is just simply following suit. And just like with the idols, just like with the false gods and goddesses, the paganism, it comes from their pagan forerunners. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.